and welcome to another episode of Tech Team GB. In this episode, we'll be setting up hybrid physics using an AMD Radeon 6870 by XFX, that's a physics card, and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460 from Palette. And also the processor we'll be testing this system on will be an AMD FX8120 processor clocked at 3.2 GHz. We'll be using hardware physics and software physics. We're going to see what scores we get. We're going to benchmark them with Fraps. Fraps is it? Fraps. Yeah. Um, and the game that we'll be testing this um, setup with will be Mirror's Edge, as it's quite a physics intensive game. We're going to be using a few levels. We're going to take some averages from each one. I'm going to see what we get. I'm going to pass you on to Andrew now as he's going to be uh, on screen. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, physics on the software side of things. Now, before you install your NVIDIA card, you need to make sure you have the latest uh, AMD Catalyst display driver. <coughs> For me, this is revision number 12.2 currently but that may be different from you that may be lesser or more I should hope more uh, so once you've downloaded that and installed it then you can uh, turn your PC off install the uh, Nvidia card then download the this driver preferably driver 285.62 uh, this is the WHQL driver pop-ups anyway uh, <laughs> then once you've done that and restarted again uh, you'll make sure you have a monitor connected to both the AMD and the NVIDIA card you need a monitor connected to them both because um, I only have one monitor I have m the same monitor connected to uh, both cards but one's through VGA and one's through DVI and I just switch the source to check that there isn't anything on the, the, uh, the N NVIDIA screen uh, and once you've uh, made sure that that's working um, you're going to need to get a certain patch or hack depending on how you think of things uh, the link will be in the description and what you need to do is pretty simply go to the end of the uh, posting by Gen L here go down to the bottom of this post now click on the physics dash mod dash 1.05 FF you download that and you will end up with a zip file with the contents of this now unzip this to somewhere that you'll find it, I unzipped it to the desktop as you can see uh, purely because that's the easiest place to find for me uh, you don't necessarily need the readme but it says readme so I read it um, now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to double click on this and open up. You'll get a slightly cartoony, funny window. Uh, all you have to do here is hit apply. You'll see this. The last thing that you'll see is how have you been? Uh, funny question. Uh, then uh, you can see that it's done. You can back up, but you don't need to. Uh, then you hit exit. Now, the extras folder. The only two that you'll probably need are these two. This one, which is physics-hwselection-set-cpu. I think you can guess what it does, but basically it sets the physic, uh, physics hardware selection to the CPU. That means it will render the physics on your CPU. You don't want that, because that sort of defeats the purpose of what we've just done. So you're going to have to just make sure by double clicking this uh, that it's now set to GPU you can then close the window I know I'm running basic but it just sort of keeps crashing every now and again so I don't bother uh, right now <coughs> next thing that I would do 
is if you don't have the program get it it's called GPUZ I will also put the link in the description uh, www.techpowerup.com slash GPUZ and make sure your NVIDIA card has physics enabled here okay make sure that's on uh, you can close it it's actually an extremely useful tool uh, I minimize it and then it's hidden on my desktop tray now uh, I'll show you some footage of Mirror's Edge and a fluid benchmark of sorts alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, fluid demo now this is NVIDIA Island demo as you can see here uh, and this is rendering on the CPU it says AMD radio on so you see a hundred series, but it's not. It's it's on the CPU. Now, if I turn the uh, level of detail on the tessellation up, right up to the max, you see that I get five FPS. It's dropped down to three. Now that's pretty shocking, right? If I change device and go on to my 460. Click OK. On full dynamic tessellation level of detail, I'm still getting 14 FPS, 15 FPS. Now, if you pull up the static tessellation factor, you're still getting 15, 16 FPS. And just to prove it, there's the solid ground, there's the physics intensive water. I wonder if you can even walk around. Yes, yes you can. So there's the proof. Alright, so I thought I'd show you a couple of uh, graphs just before I conclude. So this is with hardware physics, this one here. This is when I died, by the way. So, just because I'm terrible. Anyway, um, and you can see pretty much just above 60 FPS for the whole run. And this one seems to be doing it in cycles. <laughs> um, a, a peaking at just over 20 this is in the menu by the way so sort of disclude this part um, so you can see that at some point it even goes to about 4 FPS uh, but it drop on average it's between probably about 15 FPS now you saw the video personally I would say that was pretty unplayable I mean you could get by but you can see the difference basically right, right so <coughs> uh, I hope you've had fun trying to work out how to uh, install physics with AMD um, I hope I've given you enough uh, insight into how to do it uh, and given you enough proof to say it does work uh, thanks for watching comment, rate, subscribe